We are here outside of BuzzFeed to show you how democracy works, all right? This is pretty much America, what you see around me. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, America. And we're going to vote on the most important thing you can imagine, and that's what's the best pizza. We're only going to vote for three types of pizza, okay? We got a conservative, liberal, an independent, all right? <laughs> That's what we're considering here today. So we're gonna have pepperoni, cheese, and pineapple. Oof, what was it, ew? Four. Pineapple. All right, there we go. We got some negative feelings <laughs> towards pineapple. Do you know what your favorite pizza is? Yes, it's cheese. It's cheese? All right, so you're gonna vote for cheese. Well, I'm a vegetarian, so I like to keep it simple. What are you voting for? You know what, I'm gonna go with a wild card. I'm gonna go with pineapple. Ooh. Ooh. I want a twist. Yeah. I want to see new ideas being represented. Pineapple. Pepperoni. Cheese. Okay. And if you like other things, I'm sorry. Let's vote. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. All right. We got six, four, cheese. Five, four. Pepperoni. Nice. 12 for pineapple. At this point, I should explain to you that this is winner take all. So everyone is going to have to eat pineapple pizza. Woo! <laughs> all right, how are you feeling that you won? I'm feeling great. I got the pizza that I wanted. Do you feel at all bad for the losers? No, they can deal with it. Okay. Pepperoni, I'm so sorry. <laughs> do you feel underrepresented? Yes, underrepresented. Okay, so do you think you just needed to get more pepperoni people out here to vote? I feel like there's been a lot of fake news about how, you know, good pineapple is on pizza. It's it's not, it's an abomination. Mm -hmm. So I think people need to check their media sources. But these to the pepperoni people, but like you can pick the pineapple off and you pretty much have a cheese pizza, so. Let's talk to the cheese heads. How are you guys feeling about your election loss? Like I may need to leave the country. Cheese is popular, why aren't there more cheese lovers here? I think maybe not enough people came out to vote today. But the pineapples, you guys came out to vote, right? Yeah. Right, so you guys are kind of like the old people of pizza. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now I'm not kidding. We're gonna uh, now I'll go in and eat pizza. Congratulations. Cheese representative. Here's your piece of pizza. Oh, let's put it the right way. <laughs> you were a pepperoni voter? I was. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty upset about it. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to eat this. Yeah. But I guess I will. Yeah. Reluctantly. Yeah. You're damn right. Because that's how the election unfolded. Go ahead, take a bite. Okay. This looks disgusting. <laughs> Mmm, that was good. Oh, you like it? No, what was good was the pineapple falling out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what did you vote for? Pineapple. I'm pretty hype about this. How did you get everyone out to vote for pineapple? Word of mouth. Social media. Okay, go ahead, take a bite. Tastes like victory. Tastes like victory. So if you want your voice to be heard in politics or pizza, show up on November 6th or this could be your future. Make sure that you show up on November 6th and vote, because if not, everyone's eating pineapple. <laughs>